Let us now move on to the second topic of the day. Let us look at the G multi-factor portfolio matrix. This is also known as the nine square matrix. Now, factors contributing to the industry attractiveness and the business trends are compared in this situation. So initially, each factor is worked out separately. You need to consider each factor, like for example, the market size. Now, what is the total market size and what is your strength and assets and competency to acquire this market share? What is your current position as far as the market share is concerned? You need to do a comparative study on various factors. You have various factors like the market size, the market's growth rate, market profitability as far as the product is concerned, the pricing trend that is available in the market competitive intensity then you have the risk ret uh, risk or returns of the in the industry then you have the entry barriers which could affect your organization or the product from being entering into the market into that particular market segment so you need to take each of these factors you need to consider each of these factors and then compare it to your situation that is your business strength or your business unit what is the functional business strength that you have as an organization how much are you capable of capturing in this particular market size or market growth and things like that so you need to have these factors compare these factors and once you've compared these factors then we can place them on the nine squares as far as the g multi-factor portfolio matrix is concerned now here the portfolio matrix is a comparison between the industry attractiveness and the business trend so generally what we say is that the protect and refocus box the selectively manage for earnings and build selectively this is in the medium stage this is the middle stage at which at the in this particular multi factor portfolio matrix the product or the organization lies whereas in the case of in the case of the boxes to the left of this which is the invest and grow stage where you have the protect your position then invest to build and build selectively these are in the growth stage whereas the other segment is the divest stage where you need to where there is a decline in the sale of the organization limited expansion or harvest divest manage for earnings so just manage for earnings so the sales might have dropped the the profitability might have dropped at this particular stage so all these factors are considered and then once the factors are considered the product and the organization is placed in one of these squares or one of these box to understand relatively where exactly they are based on the industry attractiveness and the business strength of the organization so based on that you decide on the strategy as to what you need to do whether you need to invest more money for that particular product whether you need to sell away the particular division or sell away that particular product which is not profitable which is not yielding any proper results so you take a decision you based on these for based on these nine squares where you place after analyzing the factors so strategic decisions can be made based on the g multi-factor portfolio matrix